I would imagine that while many of you have been out there floating around internet land looking for clever ideas, you've encountered these two things, often labeled as impossible. But these two tricks are not impossible, not even by a long shot, because they're sitting here in front of us, thus they must be possible. And they're actually quite simple to accomplish. They work on two variations of the same theme, where we use water to change the properties of the wood, and then we exploit that change. If you haven't yet seen the videos that are associated with these two objects, then I would urge you to do so. You will find links in the description. And now, spoiler alert, this one is done by boiling the wood. It changes the properties, as I've mentioned, and it allows you to compress this portion with a vise and then squeak the nail in. Then you soak it again, or boil it again, and it allows the wood to swell back up, and you can fix it up a little bit with some sanding and then there is very little evidence that you ever tampered with it. This is done almost the same way, except in, instead of using boiling, I just soaked it overnight. In the case of the pinball, we use a method that relies a little bit more on brute force. Once the wood is sufficiently soft, we just use the vise to smash the pinball in by passing it through the end grain. And now I'd like to show you a third variation on this theme. It would be redundant to do a build video, but I would still like to talk about it. And as always, it's my hope that maybe you'll give this a try. And here it is. Pretty cool, isn't it? This is probably the trickiest of the three to pull off just for the simple fact that pinballs and nails aren't as easy to break. I broke one bulb trying to make this prototype. Do you have any ideas so far about how I did this? Yes, you use a vise, and no, you do not use the vise to press the bulb into place. I'll show you. The first order of business is to make one of these wooden Belvedere looking things, and how I went about doing it was by using a drill press and a Forstner bit. After drilling out the holes here and here, I was left with a little shark fin shaped piece of wood that remained, and I just knocked that away using a oscillating multi-tool. But of course you could also use a chisel or a coping saw. Now, of course, I understand that not everybody has an enormous drill bit like the one that I used, but it is possible to use a series of smaller holes and then connect the dots until you've removed the bulk of the material and then finish it off with the low-tech alternative, like this aggressive wood rasp. Really, the type of tool that you use is an incidental. It's determination that gets stuff done. Alright, moving on. After you've made your cradle, you give it about a 10 minute boil. Now let's pretend this is it. And we will insert it in the vise this way. And watch what happens with just a little bit of vise pressure. As you slowly apply the force, you'll see that it naturally wants to belly out in the middle. And this is exactly where you'll press the light bulb down into. Now you might not have a vise, and if that's the case, I feel confident that you can still pull this trick off using clamps. I'm sure you realize that the case of the light bulb is not going to be so straightforward. You'll probably have to help it to find its way. In case this is your first time visiting this channel, I quite often make puzzle related things like this and build videos, which I will be doing for this in the near future. So until then, try clicking on one of these objects, and I honestly hope you enjoy.